toughness, our discipline, and our focus. No winning ball game. Play for yourself, play for each other. All right, that's what we do. Okay? Play for the man next to you. Fam on three, fam on three. One, two, three. Man. He sucked again. The ball picked up. They got over to the end zone. Big plays back to back. Boom. Touchdown, Carolina. Are you kidding me? The Gamecocks win it. To take it to the third overtime. Kicks it up. It no good. He missed it. He missed, it. It. He missed it. it. And the Gamecocks it. win it in Athens. In second overtime, Carolina takes down number three, Georgia. They win it 20 to 17. I cannot believe in that. A two overtime victory against the number three team in the country. We break a four game losing streak. And Georgia fronts to the locker room. Coach, with all due respect to your alma mater, uh, it's a great day to be a Gamecock. No doubt about it. Uh, the Gamecocks take down number three, Georgia, on the road in what may be the biggest upset in the history of the program on the road, 20 to 17 in double overtime. And you look for heroes when you're on the road like this. There was a bunch of them today on all sides of the ball. I know you're real proud of them. Well, credit our, our players, the character of our players, the resistance, the perseverance, fighting, battling, scratching, doing what you got to do to win games. It says a lot about the culture of our program, the direction of our program. Uh, been a little frustrating to start the year for all of us, but uh, you got to credit our, our players, our staff. I appreciate our fans that came. They were loud and proud, and uh, it's a great day to be a game cop. Boy, everybody played so hard. Your defense had over 90 plays. Uh, you had to come in, your freshman quarterback gets injured in the third quarter, and DeCarion Joyner comes in. Everybody had to pitch in. Well, gutsy performance by DeCarion. Number one, Ryan played extremely well until the injury. We think he's going to be fine, but DeCarion comes in there and just and, and manages the offense and puts us in a position to go win the game, especially in overtime. He made some gutsy runs in there. He hasn't been full speed. He hasn't been practicing very much. He's had limited reps, so, you know, hats off to number one, his loyalty to the University of South Carolina, uh, but also when your number's called, be ready to play, and he did it today. A lot of guys are pulling themselves back off the sideline today. Coach, on our prisoner health injury report, obviously start with Ryan Halinski and the rest of the team. How are they doing? Well, we think Ryan's going to be fine. I'm not really sure to the extent of the injury, but he really couldn't protect himself, and that was more of the issue with us as a staff and our medical staff as much as anything. But a couple guys had cramps, but that was about it. Got back in the ball game. Everybody contributed. What an amazing day. Double overtime, and Carolina hangs on to win it. 20 to 17. We'll have highlights from Sanford Stadium when we come back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, HNTB. And by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties. For the past 42 years, and with over 28 million sold, more people have put their hard-earned money on a Ford F-Series truck than any other pickup in America. Yeah, I'd say that's money well spent. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Time to join the stampede. Now during Truck Month, get zero for 72 on select F-150s, or get 11,500 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. 
Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. That's first and 15 now at the Georgia 47. Play action from Feaster. Kalinsky rolling left side, going down the field, got a man. In his arms at the 10 at the pylon. Are you kidding me? Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Brian Edwards from 46 yards out. Halinski, the freshman, just lofted one like he's been playing here for five years. Gamecocks go to three and three on the season with a huge upset in Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, over number three, Georgia. And let's go out, coach, on our Toyota keys to the game. One of the things you said you needed to do, of course, playing a Georgia football team is stop the run. And despite that it went to two overtimes, you held them under 200 yards rushing. Well, we tackled, and that's the bottom line. There was not a lot of runs where you saw a missed tackle and an explosive play after it. And then we were able to get some things going in the run game, especially when DeCaron went in the game. Our guys did a nice job of establishing things on the line of scrimmage. Uh, pr proud of how we played on both lines of scrimmage. Our Toyota keys to the game. Toyota, let's go places. Here we go out to Sanford Stadium. 92,000 on hand, a gorgeous day for football. Beautiful day, uh, outstanding day. They come out here on the first drive here and, and uh, we're able to get some pressure. And that was something that he's only allowed one sack all year. I think we ended up with three or four, but you see the vertical pen penetration by Javon Kinlaw, really nice play right there. Uh, we come off the goal line here trying to get something going in the run game. Rico does a nice job of getting the ball north and south. Uh, we go to an empty set right here on third and nine. A really nice job by Ryan standing in there, throwing the dig across the middle to Brian Edwards. Brian had a, another outstanding day and again stands in the pocket again. A critical third down conversion by Nick Muse right there going across the middle and catching the football. We move the pocket here and run a little out and up right here. Uh, the, the nickel lost his eyes on Brian. Brian's able to hit a 46 yarder right there for the touchdown. Huge momentum swing in the game to answer their score uh, to end the first quarter right there. They come down and, and put a drive together to, to go up 10-7, uh, go up three on us right there. But we've got to an answer, and really, you know, we come back right here with Ryan. It's another nice, nice ball. We wanted to spread them out a little bit in some big sets to leave their regular people on the field. Again, Ryan takes a huge hit, stands in the pocket, critical third down throw right there. Uh, then we got some more things going in the run game again. Rico getting the ball north and south. That's a good nine yard run right there against a very good run defense. He goes and gets the first down right there to continue to get the chains moving. We emptied the backfield out again. Kyle Marquay, who's having a fantastic year, gets the first down. We're back on defense, down three. We tackled extremely well. Sherrod Green set the edge of the defense. They had a more negative plays today than they've probably had all season. Again, another critical third down stop right there. Uh, you know, and then we had the critical uh, block of the field goal before half, I believe it was. Maybe it's coming up. This is a, a, a key stop on fourth down. They see us in the pressure. We didn't check out of it. Jamie Robinson makes a fantastic play. Ryan gets whacked again right there hard. They were adding on in our seven-man protection. We've got to find a way to sift that out there. Uh, but again, we got some things going back, and there's a 14-yard run by Rico right there. We're coming back down offensively. Uh, Shy's got to make a guy miss right here in this situation. We, 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 we're in the, in the open field right there. We've got to do that. Uh, then Parker comes up right there and hits the 49-yarder uh, right down the middle. A lot, a lot of room right there. We made an adjustment to this unbalanced set where they hit one run on us in the game. We came back and defensed that very well. And then really a great pressure right there by Javon Kinlaw. Huge interception, huge score for us on the defensive side of the ball. Israel Makamu, really proud of him and the way he's played and uh, the different things that we've been doing in the secondary have been really good adjustments. Again, we collapsed the pocket again. Really nice job by our defensive line. Ten seconds, we put them out of field goal range and then uh, we're able to, 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 to knock the ball off right there and then uh, they come up and then we get the block. Amazing halftime play from just about everybody. Ken Law's pressures, Mukwamu's uh, interception. Uh, Ryan Holinsky, maybe the best ball he's thrown all year to Edwards on the 46-yard touchdown. 
and the Gamecocks are ahead 17 to 10. Coach, you're on the road with a number three team in the country. What were you telling your team at halftime you had to come back out and do? Just keep swinging. I mean, it would keep playing hard in the game. And, and you, when you play in a game like this, it's going to come down. We talk in terms of always those four, six, eight plays in the second half. And when they pop up, we've got to be on top of those plays when they happen. And we were fortunate enough to do that today. And let's go back out to Sanford Stadium, our second half highlight. The Gamecocks deferred when they won the coin toss. Coach, you had to kick away. A couple of ten drives back and forth by each team didn't amount to much. No, we did a nice job there by Joe, down it inside the five-yard line. Uh, they come back, and again, they're just trying to run the inside zone. We did a nice job with some penetration right there in some situations. You know, we're getting them in third down. We got third and six right here. We bring pressure, uh, flush him out of the pocket right there. Uh, create the throwaway right there. Uh, you know, they go fourth and six right here. And again, we did grab him right there. We don't need to grab him. We got him covered in that situation. We had good pressure on the play. Uh, they come back on an over route that they've run before. We just got it right there. You know, Robertson's a really fast guy, does a nice job of getting on top. But we bring it back down the field. Really proud of DeCare on heck of a throw right there on the seven cut to Nick Muse. Uh, we're getting empty again. We're, we're throwing the ball down the field. We get the PI right here uh, on Chavis Dawkins. The guy didn't play the ball. Uh, so we're in, we're in position right here to possibly get to field goal range. And uh, again, really gutsy play right here to, by DeCaron. We've got to take care of the football. But we get to the 40 and we had the distance. We just, we just kicked it a little bit right right there, but really uh, proud of Parker right there. That's a 58 yard attempt, just a little bit right. And, um, and just 15 seconds to go, Coach, you still had work to do with your defense. Well, again, they're, they're in second down right here, and they're trying to get in field goal range. JT Bay makes a fantastic play. They got to throw the ball to the sideline right here because they don't have any timeouts. Our guys understood that and did a really not, nice job of defending it. They didn't want to put him out there for the long field goal. Great job by, by Aaron Sterling right there creating a the fumble. Well, that takes us to half, excuse me, to overtime, tied at 17. Coach, it's a rarity here at Sanford Stadium. It's only the second game ever to go to overtime. But you've got a quarterback who's not played a lot in the last couple of weeks. What were you thinking? You got the you got the uh, coin flip and you decided to go on defense. That makes sense. Well, I wanted to play defense first and, and, and for a fortune to get the interception off the tip ball. We went back offensive. I told Brian, let's run the ball, let's center the ball, let's put Parker out there to go win the game. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way, but we had to keep playing in the game. That's the bottom line. That's how the game transpired in the game. Our guys kept fighting in the game and gave us an opportunity to win it. We went for it on fourth down in the second overtime for the simple reason I felt like we needed to score a touchdown there to go win the game. Uh, we were fatigued on defense, and I was concerned about us rushing the quarterback at that time. So a missed field goal by Blankenship, and Carolina wins in the second overtime, 20 to 17. Take down number three, Georgia and Athens. We'll be back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football and your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway. Unexpected happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks, like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more.
One play at a time to do it for 60 minutes. And just remember, when you cut them, keep swinging. All right, and when you get cut, keep swinging. Because at the end of the day, they're going to give us their best shot, and we're going to win the game. Everybody understand that? Go, man. Keep it long through. One, two, three. Yeah. Side, going down the field, got a man. It is over the 10, it's a pylon. Are you kidding me? Touchdown Carolina. Touchdown Brian Edwards. Next, we'll hear from Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, and HNTB Design Firm. The Garvin Design Group has a long working history with contract construction uh, with John Farley and Greg Hughes. Our history goes way back and we've done a number of projects together. We have shared values in terms of how we work together, so it's very, it's just a great experience to partner together on a project like this, uh, respecting what they do in construction and they have equal respect for what we do in design. We work together really well as a team. Hey Gamecock fans, this is Coach Will Muschamp. As head coach of the Gamecocks, I know it's important to practice healthy habits to stay in the game, including exercising regularly, reducing stress, and scheduling checkups with your doctor. As the official health care provider and team physician for the Gamecocks, Prisma Health helps the team stay healthy on and off the field. And with locations across the Midlands, they make it convenient for the entire Garnet and Black community to get the health care they need. To find out how you can live healthier, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. For the past 42 years, and with over 28 million sold, more people have put their hard-earned money on a Ford F-Series truck than any other pickup in America. Yeah, I'd say that's money well spent. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Time to join the stampede. Now during Truck Month, get 0 for 72 on select F-150s or get 11500 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food 
to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. When the unexpected happens to you, there's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Good hard work has earned Aaliyah Abrams the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the track and field team, Abrams is a junior public health major with a 3.607 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good, hard work. Their own 47, Fromm again working in the pocket. He's under pressure, he's got to throw it late into coverage and picked off. Mukwamu down the near sideline at the 30, <laughs> at the 20. Run, Mukwamu! <laughs> into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Take that, Georgia. <laughs> Touchdown, Israel Mukwamu. 53 <laughs> yards out. Are you kidding me? First. Boom! That's our Sandsbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? One of three picks from Israel Mukwamu on the day. Coach, that's a pick six. He had to stretch out right before half a crucial time. Well, he's 6'4". Yeah. <laughs> but uh, great pressure by the Javon Kinlaw. They, people have not been able to get to from. We got to him multiple times in the game and forced him into a, an errant throw, which he rarely ever makes, and, and Israel made a fantastic play on the ball. Boy, as good as that catch was, I think some of the other ones were even better with the hands that he had. In fact, you have awarded him our Terminex Test Player of the Week. It goes to Izzy for three picks. We haven't had somebody do that since 1988, by the way, three in one game. Well, that was back when you were playing. <laughs> yes, it was. And believe me, they needed him on that side <laughs> of the field. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, Izzy Mukwamu, our Terminex Best Player of the Game. Now it's time to hear from Mike Carolina. Hi, I'm Gamecock legend Connor Shaw, here to tell you that joining the Alumni Association is a home run. And as the new spokesperson for the Alumni Association, I want to represent all Gamecocks, regardless of their Carolina experience. Because that is what the Alumni Association does. They support all of us, not just record-breaking quarterbacks, like me. So join today or visit MyCarolina.org to learn more. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football and your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway. For the past 42 years, and with over 28 million sold, more people have put their hard-earned money on a Ford F-Series truck than any other pickup in America. Yeah, I'd say that's money well spent. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Time to join the stampede. Now during Truck Month, get zero for 72 on select F-150s, or get 11,500 in total savings at your Carolina Ford dealer. We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer, and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success 
since 1946. Contract Construction, Garvin Design Group, HNTB. And by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Properties. Carolina in the four-man front, here they come. From in the pockets, under pressure. Drop! Sacked around the 44-yard line. It just collapsed on him. Oh, my goodness. Smite is seven on the play. Give it to everybody. Kinlaw, Wanham, Sterling, all pressuring that pocket and turning it inside. Welcome back into Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Coach, I, I don't know if you've been looking for a signature win, but you got one. If you did it on the road against Georgia, your alma mater, we broke a four game losing streak to them. They'd won 15 straight over SEC Eastern teams. And of course, we're number three in the country. Congratulations on that. But in this league, no rest for the weary. No. They got Florida coming in next week and they'll have LSU tonight, see how that goes. But another talented team. Right Absolutely. There. I mean, you watched them play against Auburn, who's a really talented football team. They got, they'll be in Baton Rouge tonight and I know they'll play well. And Dan's done a fantastic job uh, with the quarterback change with Trask and he's performing at a high level. And Todd Grantham does a really good job with their defense. They're really rushing the pass through. They're creating a lot of havoc defensively as far as turnovers. I think they're leading the league. At the time of filming, another undefeated team. This will be coming to Williams Price Stadium. Stay with us. We'll give you the time. Of course, that kickoff's coming with us. Don't forget to go join me and Coach for Carolina Calls on Thursday night at the Wild Wing Cafe in the Vista. Thanks for being with us. A monumental day for Gamecocks, beating the Georgia Bulldogs in Athens for only the ninth time in the history of the program when they're number three in the country. Coach, congratulations. We'll see you next time.